To Canberra now. Unpopular debit card surcharges could be banned as the government flags further cost of living support. We'll have to Trudy McIntosh for the details on this. Trudy, Trudy, so how much could consumers save here? Well, Pete, it's probably only a, a few cents when it comes to small transactions. Even looking through your bank at things like this coffee, seven cents for one retailer. Other times it can be nine cents. But in total, the government says each year Australians are being slugged up to $4 billion worth of these surcharges when it comes to using their debit card. The government, in the midst of this cost of living crisis, wants to be seen to be taking action. And they're promising to look at banning this by 2026. The bank's charge charge these processing fees and small businesses often decide that they need to pass it on to consumers if they're using their card rather than using cash. But the government wants to look at ways uh, down the track to actually ban this entirely. Have a look at some of the reaction we've got this morning. Well, I fully support looking at this. Obviously, we need action rather than just talk. Uh, but it does seem a cosy relationship at the moment among the banks and how they are slugging a lot of small businesses, but ultimately those small businesses have to pass it on uh, to you. This is a seven months out from an election decision, right? This is kind of clear in the next, trying to show some positive decisions. It's a positive movement on, on policy. Uh, look, paying, what, 1.1%, is it going to change everything? No. And, in fact, most retailers will then say, well, hang on, if I've got to absorb that, well, the banks have to absorb that, guess what I do? I pass it on through prices. We, you know, we're going to pay one way or the other, and that's, that's kind of the point, right? This doesn't go away just because the surcharge is banned. We simply get charged in a different way. But right now, the credit card companies globally make an absolute mozza from these transaction fees. So not quite the pre-election sweetener, given it wouldn't be due to be banned until 2026. And as you just heard there, uh, it seems like a lot of businesses would just decide to increase the cost of the goods anyway. But in the meantime, the consumer watchdog, the ACCC, been giving an extra $2 million, Pete, to check that the current processes are not charging excessive fees beyond what the banks are actually charging the business. OK. Trudy McIntosh out of Canberra. Thank you, Trudy.